Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to swap third stage valve for W31 and W32 compressors. First thing we need to do, disconnect these two pipes coming from each side. This side is out, this side is in. So we have to follow that order. There we go, the pipe is loose. And this side, same thing. All right, next, using a number six Allen key, we have to remove this six bolts If your third stage is not working properly, this, uh, your intake or discharge valves on the third stage needs to be serviced, or there is a seal or as a O-ring or a Teflon on the third stage discharge valve needs to be replaced. So those are the two things that we're gonna focus on. Now I have my third stage valve in my head. I remove the valve cover. Here's my, here's my uh, intake valve and here's my discharge valve. This side it says out, this side it says in, okay? And first what I can do, I can check the, my discharge valve if it's working properly. So basically using a flat screwdriver, you can push the valve out. Here's my valve. Here's my seal here. Sometimes you can see an O-ring and sometimes you can see a white Teflon here. For example, on this one, there's an O-ring. So you can check the health of this O-ring if the O-ring has a damage. If it has a damage, this needs to be replaced. When it comes to the valve, using a sharp tin object, you can check the health of the valve, basically push from the center hole, push the valve plate in to see if it's sealing properly. In this one, it's working very good. It's not stuck or anything. And the other side of the valve, you see the, you see the intake valve. This valve, basically, what we're gonna do here, using a valve key, it has six pins, goes in this, holes on the valve, that it, a lot, it helps us to remove the valve. Now we're gonna do that and check the health of the valve. Stop there. Okay, I put the valve on a vise, so it's pretty secure and tight. I enter the valve key, pins into the valve, okay. 
so you have to hold it straight down and basically now you can try to remove the valve there you go now it starts spinning once it's loose i can use my hand Here's the valve and again this one has a valve plate here basically you can clean this valve using a gasoline or something and also push this valve plate in with a sharp object like a thin object to see if valve plate is working properly there's a spring inside if the spring is broken this the valve is not gonna work properly so this needs to be replaced now I'm going to put the valve back on. All right, it's all the way on. And just make it tight. There we go. And so the valve is ready. Okay. Now I am going to show you how to remove this Teflon or O-ring. Basically, again, using a flathead screwdriver, I am able to take this out. And then this, this is the way you install it. Basically, make it have it sit on it, its groove. And now you can install it, put the valve back on. There we go. I pushed it in. Now it's good. It's in. Now I will install my valve back on the cylinder. So out has to be left side. Bring it. And in the, in the valve head, there's a hole here that the, my, my, my discharge valve sits in. There we go. All right, all my bolts are in. Before I tighten them up, I'm going to remove this pin. There we go, remove the cap. And I wanna loosen up that pin, pushes the valve down. First, I'll, I'll loosen up a little bit. Now I'm gonna make sure uh, I will tighten up my bolts. Now, while I'll do that, I'm, I will have to follow the STAR methodology. So they, you, can, you tighten them up across from each other. All right, now using uh, my other number four Allen key, make sure this pin is really tight because this is the pin that pushing the valve down. If this is loose, your valve is gonna leak. All right, 
Now I put the cap back on using an number 13 wrench. Okay, this is good. Now I can install the out and in pipes on this place. And again, using my 19 millimeter, I'm gonna tighten them up one by one and make sure that they go all the way in and they're tight and you are done.